If you thought prohibition was a doomed experiment, imagine prohibiting sliced bread. Yet not long after sliced bread was invented, a man named Claude R. Rickard decided to ban it nationwide because reasons. By 1933, sliced bread sales had exceeded sales of unsliced loaves of bread. America was hooked. Then, during World War II, on January 18, 1943, Claude R. Wickard, the U.S. Food Administrator, banned all commercial bakers from selling any sliced bread. He wanted to conserve resources. What resources? Wheat, you say? Apparently not. Or maybe. The ready sliced loaf must have a heavier wrapping than an unsliced one if it is not to dry out, said Wickard. So he was basically talking about wax paper. That was what was used to wrap sliced bread in those days. He figured since the country was busy fighting the Nazis and the Japanese, the country had better things to do than wrap sliced bread. And well, if you didn't wrap it, it would dry out, and then people would throw it out, and that would waste wheat. But there was no wax paper shortage in the U.S., so many figured the real reason must have been to conserve wheat in the first place. Still, it may seem logical to suggest that the advent of sliced bread had increased consumption of bread, and therefore banning sliced bread would conserve wheat enough to avoid rationing it. But the U.S. had plenty of wheat at that time, so no need for rationing. Speculation over the cause of the ban continued. Slicing bread required specialized bread slicing machines. It's not like they sliced all that bread by hand. These machines required metal parts and maintenance. So maybe the ban was meant to conserve steel. Now conserving steel during the war was important. In fact, many companies that manufactured metal goods would stop their normal production and retool to manufacture materials for the military, including ammo and weapons. But repairing a bread slicing machine now and again, this would hardly undermine the war effort. Whatever the reasons, Americans were not about to live without sliced bread. They complained a lot. So the ban was lifted only three months after it was issued, which is why you never heard about this strange but short-lived prohibition in your history class. On March 8, 1943, just shy of three months after the order, the ban was canceled, and the following statement was issued: "The order prohibiting the slicing of bread was aimed at affecting economies in the manufacture of bread and the use of paper. Our experience with the order, however, leads us to believe that the savings are not as much as we expected, and the War Production Board tells us that sufficient wax paper to wrap sliced bread for four months is in the hands of paper processors and the baking industry. Thank goodness for that. <laughs>